appreciate your warmth and your hospitality. I don't, I don't get that in South Carolina. So uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you for that. Um, I never travel, um, and in a minute I'm gonna tell you why I'm here. But I, I do want to let you know I rarely uh, travel for a number of reasons. Um, I am married to one of the most beautiful women in the world. You would not uh, know that to look at me, but I am. <laughs> in the world. We live right beside a golf course. We have every ESPN sports channel that they offer, including the SEC Network. And my probation officer is a jerk, so I don't, I don't have a chance to travel very often. Um, but I'm here on Saturday for two reasons. Firstly, because I like Chuck Fletcher. And I'm going to tell you why I like Chuck. I met Chuck in orientation. Now, when you find a lawyer that you like, you better <laughs> hang on to him, or you better put him in the Smithsonian, one or the other. And I decided to hang on to him. I mean, you think about folks in public service, or the caricature of folks in public service, they're the caricature is that we have inflated views of ourselves, and then you find a guy like Chuck Fleischman, who if anything is understated. He's not overstated, he's understated. We've got plenty of folks in elective office who love to take more credit than they deserve. Occasionally you find somebody like Chuck Fleischman who takes actually less credit than he deserves. We're on different committees. I'm on oversight with Jason Chaffetz, and I'm on judiciary with Louie Gohmert, and I'm, I'm on committees with big personalities who essentially host their own Fox News show. <laughs> now, let me say this about the folks on appropriations, because that's the committee that Chuck serves on. And you're not going to be on Fox News, and you're not going to be on talk radio, and you're not going to have a chance to rant and rave and wave your hands. But if you want to provide oversight, if you want to get the attention of the executive branch, step on the air hose called appropriations. Since we have been trying to get documents from the Department of State in the investigation into what happened in Benghazi, we have tried public shame, it didn't work. We've tried threats and subpoenas and letters, that hasn't worked. What has worked? was when we partnered with our friends on appropriations and let the State Department and other agencies know, your money will be cut if you do not provide us with documents. <laughs>